this is not a luxury resort. This is the Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa's official residence. Stormed by the protesters on July 9th, the residence is now open to all. People are still milling around, they're visiting, it's quite crowded and uh, uh, sort of still being sort of occupied by the protesters. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa reportedly had fled the country in the middle of the night, hours before he was due to step down. A government source said that he flew to the Maldives in a military aircraft. The Rajapaksa family, including former Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, has dominated the politics for years, and most Sri Lankans blame them for current problems. This is the second time in 44 years of Sri Lanka's executive presidency that the office will fall vacant midstream. For the last few days, efforts are being made in various political camps to lay claim to the president's office. Meanwhile, protesters are ready to ensure that no one in the current dispensation is able to stay on. Under the provisions for succession laid down in Sri Lanka's constitution, when the president's office falls vacant, it has to be the Prime Minister who is sworn in as interim president until Parliament elects a candidate from among its members. The Speaker of Parliament has said that election will take place on July 20th. This election has to take place within 30 days of the President's office falling vacant. And the candidate will need an absolute majority in Parliament. Ranil Vikramasinghe is now the acting president. Vikramasinghe himself had tweeted on July 9th that he would resign as Prime Minister to make way for an all-party government. But he had not actually resigned until Tuesday evening. Under the constitution, if the office of the Prime Minister too is vacant, the Speaker of Parliament becomes the acting president. But if Vikramasinghe is still PM when and if Rajapaksa actually resigns, he will be president at least until Parliament elects someone else to the post. Sajid Premadasa of the SJB party has put himself forward as the opposition's candidate for interim president and has declared that he is ready to lead the country.